Okay, so I did more mods on this 270. Totally loving this thing. I finally got this CC3D on clean flight through some trial and error. Anybody wanting to convert your CC3D over to the clean flight base flight firmware, something you need to know. I'm not sure if this is true for all, but this is true for me. In order to get it to connect to base flight and or clean flight, you first have to power it up with the flight battery. Now to be safe, I recommend taking off your props because quirky things do happen. I've had a couple instances myself. But you have to plug this flight battery in. Once you do that, then connect your board. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to connect. Uh, trust me, I went through a lot of trying to update all my drivers on my PC and all just all of that kind of nonsense just to find out that it was something as simple as powering the battery first. Now, one thing I am noticing, this is not my original CC3D that came with this. This is actually an Evo because uh, actually this quad has been on like four different um, firmwares now. I've had it on base flight, clean flight, drone in, and of course Libre Pilot, which has kind of taken the place of Open Pilot, I suppose. Um, but this is the CC3D Evo. And whenever you're thinking of switching over to base flight or clean flight with a CC3D, you'll notice that the ESC number one, number two, number three, number four will not correspond with the one, two, three, and four on your fly controller. Um, because the motor layout is different. Now I have a generic picture of that. On your right is your common open pilot, Libre pilot motor layout. On your left is your clean flight and your base flight motor setup. So four becomes one, two stays two, Three becomes four, and one becomes three. Also learned some of those through trial and error. Mapping wasn't that bad. Uh, also, your channels on your receiver are going to change, too. So those will have to be remapped. Again, really not that big a deal. I suggest not drinking or smoking or anything if you're going to be doing this. Stay clean-headed, and it's going to go a lot smoother for you. But anyway, I ended up taking and getting me a low voltage alarm. What I did is I just put Velcro on each one of my batteries. So now I just Velcro this turd on here. I recommend don't going any don't go any lower than 3.5. There's a little button on the front here, which is really tough to see. I mean, there is it's a little tiny little button right there, but you're gonna keep pushing that. And as you push it, I think it starts. I'll show you here. Plug it in, loud beep. Once you plug it in, there's a little button right here. It's two seven, two eight, two nine. I take mine always all the way up to three five. And that gives me a really short time. But after I got the new CC3D, I was able to, I took one of the standoffs off. So now it's just a single pillar there. Very little space in between the battery deck. Just enough space for my receiver to get under there. And then I have the wires to the receiver sticking out on this end. But I got it lighted up. Got some new lights for it. I'm going to turn the light out real quick and show you guys. Okay, here it is. Uh, this has the angel eyes on the front, which I like just the regular beam, but there is a switch here I installed on the side, so it's accessible. So it just switches to the angel eye look. I mean, it looks okay, but I prefer this a lot. It's so much brighter. And then of course, you gotta love these things.
These things are only like five bucks for a set. And you have these white little dip switches, so you can kind of change the color from red, green, chartreuse. And I'm running the brightest color that they offer right now. So, out of all the firmware I've ran on this thing, Clean Flight has been the best for this setup. It's a CC3D Evo, cheap one. I mean, it was like 23 bucks. There it is. Hit me up if y'all got any questions.